My name is Wendy Kasiera. I am a research officer here in Isipe. I work in hand in hand with my colleague, Dr. Kiatoko, with Stingless Bees, and recently we've introduced a department on value addition of hive products. Bees produce five different products in their hive, and we refer to them as raw materials, which are honey, beeswax, propolis, royal jelly, and bees venom. For the common African honeybee, they are the ones with the bee venom and the royal jelly. But for stingless bees, it's only the honey, the beeswax, and the propolis. Talking of value addition, these raw materials on their own, they cannot get a market out here. And that is why we need to add value to it to create a wide diversity and market for them to be sold. Now, the value added products, we divide them into different categories. We have the cosmetic industry, the medical industry, and this other industry that has no permanent name. So for the medical industry, we target properties from the hive which have medicinal value, including the stingless honey itself and the bees propolis. Bees propolis has antibacterial and antimicrobial properties, and that is why we use them in the medical field. And the two products which we develop from, from propolis is the propolis tincture and the propolis tablets. Stingless bee honey on its own can be taken as medicine because it also helps in coughs, flu, and sore throat as well. Besides, we also have royal jelly from the common honeybee. As I had stated, it's not produced with the stingless bees. That one is good in fertility and also body immune. Coming to the cosmetic field, beeswax is a major raw material when it comes to cosmetic. Because it is humectant, it retains moisture in your skin. And from this beeswax, you can use to make body cream, you can be used to make body lotion, lip balm also is made from the beeswax, and you can use beeswax to make shoe polish because it, it protects your leather longer than the common paraffin wax. We have one that is neutral, which is suitable for both male and female. This doesn't choose a color of the shoe, you can apply it to any type of shoe. Now this is the dark brown, which is specific for the dark brown shoes and can be used by both genders, either male or female. Coming to honey, you can use honey to make liquid soap and the body soap because honey is a good property on the skin. You can do it in various scents and various shapes, including even the color, depending on your target market or whatever you prefer as an individual. That is the good thing with honey soap. They come in different varieties. So in, you cannot miss a target market because there's a wide variety depending on the mold you use to prepare this soap. The honey made has very few ingredients. You only require water, honey, and yeast only. So in terms of large scale, it can be a very good idea because you don't use any other chemical materials because remember, honey wine is something that people take. So in regards to the time which changes and what the foods we eat are associated with affecting our bodies, it can be a good idea in terms of cutting cost and taking organic wine. That is why we have experimented on different concentrations and we've come up with the best so far. And we, we will be glad to introduce it to the market and train many people who are interested, especially for large-scale production. For you to get to a point where you have to taste, it has to take at least 40 days. But of course, the longer the wine stays, the sweeter it gets. But at least 40 days for you to, to be able to say that your wine is it, mature for the first stage. But after bottling, it, it still continues to mature. The combs where they have the honey was stored, that there is where we get the wax. And it is simple because you only require isophoria and fire. Once you boil your water and put the combs inside, they will melt into wax. And you will sieve it through a sieve, then the wax will harden at the top of the sieve. Simply like that you have managed to get your wax. And once you've gotten the wax and it is clean, then you can proceed to the step-by-step -step recipe 
for these products. For instance, when making candles, you only have to heat your wax at maybe 37 degrees Celsius and below, because when you exceed there, it will burn the wax. Once you have melted it, you just fix a wick inside your mold and pour the wax. And as simple as that, you have obtained your beeswax candle. For those interested in flavoring, once you have heated your wax at 37 degrees, you let it cool to about 23 or 27 room temperature. Then you introduce your um, oils, essential oils, because essential oils with high temperatures are not favorable. That's why you let the wax to cool. Now at room temperature, when you add your essential oil, you mix it thoroughly in one direction, then you pour in your mold. Then when packaging the scented candle, you put it in an enclosed jar for it not to lose the scent. This is scented candle. As you can see, it is packed in a jar to prevent the smell from escaping from this tube because essential oil highly evaporate. And this is the normal candle. You can pack it whichever way. And candles are used in churches for lighting and you can also use them for as mosquito repellents. And those are the kind of oils we target, the eucalyptus oil, osimum oil, and the lemongrass. In Kenya right now, I believe we have very many people who are packaging and processing honey as a natural raw material. But to improve it, we can go further and infuse it with various products, including spices, fruits, and any other medicinal components that one wants to mix with the honey. But before mixing with the honey, I'd like to say that the spice or rather the fruit must be dry for someone to be able to infuse. And upon infusion, you don't just infuse any spice or any fruit because it can maybe be poisonous once it is mixed with honey. You mix spices which are people eat, which people know, and which are medicinal, like the ginger, the cinnamon, the cardamom, lemon, those are some of the things you can infuse in honey. And apart from taking it directly, those people who prefer cooking, like the five-star hotel, the honey can be used in marinating their beef, this spiced honey. Mm. So with this, it diversifies the market for honey. And talking of farmers who are interested in this training, we are open to do training to all farmers who are interested by contacting ISIPE either directly coming to our vicinity or texting us on email. And we are free to train them on these products because we do not use sophisticated products in materials. We use materials which are locally available and affordable for any kind of farmer to make these products. We have simple recipes which can be understood by even the local farmers back in the village. In fact, with most of our projects, we target the youth and the women because these are people who are so much into beauty and they are easily trained and they are easily also adaptable unlike the men. So we target youth and women to be able to train them on these products so that they can make a living on their own, they can make use of their time, and they can also be interested in protecting the diversity of the bees. Because people are, who are just interested in honey, they can destroy the natural colonies in search of the honey. But if they know there is more they can get out of it, they will now domesticate them which in return they protect them so that they harvest this product continuously because there's something they gain from it. And as I had said, our doors are open. Any interested group, youth group or women group or even men who have decided to learn this are free to come for the trainings here in Isipe. So everything you see here has been produced in this small room that we are here today. And it, they are produced with very simple materials. And some of these materials include hand mixers, the common cooking sticks, sufurias, and packaging containers, which are locally available here in Kenya. From here, this way, these are the cosmetic products that I'm talking, I was talking about earlier. And just to have a look at a few of them, this is beeswax body cream which is scented with lavender. So talking of conservation of the environment and so, someone who has planted lavender is able to sell the lavender for 
extraction of essential oil. And someone who has kept beehives at their home, they are able to harvest the beeswax and use it. So a combination of these two brings about these products. And in one way or another, those who have planted the or kept the various raw materials have benefited from it. We have beeswax uh, lip balm. It comes in different colors and different flavors as well. And the good thing with beeswax lip balm, it maintains a soft lip. There's those people who have chapped lips or dry lips, it, this is advisable for them. So it is also a good area that anyone interested can venture in. This is referred as propolis tincture. It is a very good product for sore throat and also flus. It is propolis which has been extracted, so all the antimicrobial and antibacterial propolis are in it. After harvesting honey, what next? But today I want to encourage those people who really ask themselves that question, because from beekeeping you are able to get more out of it, apart from maintaining the environment in one way or another, because Bees are good pollinators, so in terms of food security, they really help us. But apart from that, you also look at a way of how the bees can reward you. And what we've displayed here is a very good example of how bees can reward you in one way or another. So as a youth, a woman or a man out there who is interested in beekeeping, Isipe is open for you because all these products are made here and we are very willing to and able to assist you to know how to make these products right from your home and at your comfort and able to make an income out of it as you protect the environment out there.